Today I'm going to be showing you how to program and tag channels into your banks so you don't have to so you can chant throughout or I mean I'm sorry excuse me scan throughout a few channels um, local channels um, instead of having to scan through all the channels or press a specific channel just listen to that so you can continuously scan throughout a certain bank um, which is pretty cool this is a unit in uh, BC 125H uh, AT. I've done a review on this before. It's awesome. I got the rechargeable batteries in the back. So this is what you need. What needs to be done to be able to tag and program the frequencies. As you can see, I have a ham radio frequency frequency right there. Channel six, a random one, another random one. LA County Fire, my local sheriff's department, and Bank One. These are your close call hits, so you can scan just close call hits. Just if you want it, if something's going on near to you, you could scan there. Now I have a little um. Okay, and yeah, just to be sure, there's there's a fifty. There's actually fifty slots f for one channel in each bank. So that's pretty cool. You could do a ton, tons of channels. And there's ten banks, so uh. So you could do a lot of channels. Most of these fre frequencies I get from RadioReference.com. Go check them out. I'll put the link in the description below. Because if you're watching this, you're probably interested in um, scanners and everything. So you want to go to um, let's restart so I can start from the top. Show you how to do it right after it boots up. When it turns on, if you haven't already, you want to press hold. Okay. So this is all locked. So we're gonna press. I'm sorry, I'm having difficult. Okay. Press hold. You'll see your banks. My channels are in bank one, so I gotta scroll around to bank one real quick. Sorry for the. Trying to do it quick. So let's say I want to uh, input something in uh, number eight. You want to press function and then PGM e with the E next to it. You have to make sure function is in place though. So, and then you press enter frequency. I'm going to enter a random frequency. 45.8621. I don't. I don't know if uh, this one really exists or not. You want to press function and program again. Or you don't need to press function but I just do it out of habit now uh, you uh, you can enter the tag but I'm just gonna show you so now this is all the settings in here you now have that channel you might want to name it so you know where you're listening to so to do that you can press function and program again scroll down to edit tags sorry okay now what you do is you scroll left or right for letters, symbols, and numbers, and so on. So I have a bunch of different symbols in here too. Okay, so let's just name a channel A B. To scroll, you just go like that. And by the way, if you want more in-depth information, this is just a quick tutorial on look in the owner's manual they have all this so we're going to name a b press program again we're going to exit and we now have channel a b i think it goes up to like it says something like 16 characters i think so yeah pretty cool you know what you're listening to so you don't have to scan through a uh, crap load of frequencies just to hear your local uh, police fire EMS ham radio whatever you uh, have the scanner for you don't have to listen to it um, once in a while you, you have a few chat channels that you can just scroll through very quickly and yeah I like it it's a cool feature so thank you guys for watching uh, please comment below if you have any more video suggestions and uh, and uh, yeah if you have any more questions regarding the scanner just uh, let me know down in the comments below.
Thanks for watching. Have a good one.